Remember the Wuling Hongwan Mini EV, China's top selling electric car? Well, it now has some very, very cool and interesting new competition. And honestly, I think this might be the coolest little electric car on the face of the planet. Hello, my friends, and welcome to the channel. Hope you've had an amazing day. Hope you're as excited as I am to see all these new electric cars popping up all over the place. Honestly, I do find it genuinely quite fun and exciting, especially when the prices of these cars are so incredibly low. I don't know how they do it, but this car, the new Chang'an Lumen Corn, is truly freaking awesome. Honestly, I don't know why, but this little car is just, to me, so exciting. Maybe the reason is because all of its competitors, obviously, which include the Wuling Hongwan Mini EV, the Baozhan Kiwi EV, the very high selling as well, Cherry QQ Ice Cream, and the Cherry EQ1 all look a bit derivative. They look okay, but really, and none of them look as cool as this. Now, Chang'an's first Mini EV, the Lumin Corn, is coming soon. And to be frank, I would be very surprised if this wasn't a very large seller. Why? Well, it has some pretty damn impressive backing behind it. First of all, Chang'an introduced its premium EV brand called Avatar, which is Chang'an's joint venture with Huawei and CATL. I mean, two of the biggest companies on the face of the planet. Huawei provides incredible software and technology. CATL, well, obviously they're the largest battery company on the face of planet Earth, right? So essentially, these two massive companies have gotten together with Chang'an and made an electric vehicle company, which I think will be extremely successful. Could be one of the largest electric vehicle manufacturers by the end of this decade when you think of the power and the billions of dollars these companies have behind them. Now, after unveiling an electric coupe called the Avatar 11, which is an SUV, kind of a crossover vehicle, looks, looks pretty cool as well. They're now working on a mini electric hatchback, which is going to be a competitor to China's top-selling Hong One Mini EV, which, by the way, sold 95,000 units in the first quarter of this year, which is as many electric cars as Volkswagen sold over the face of the planet in the first quarter of this year. And that's one single model in only one country. Now, according to Chinese media reports, the Lumen Corn Mini EV is coming in two different variants. One comes with a 35 kilowatt LFP battery from CATL that generates 48 horsepower or 35 kilowatt and has a range of 210 kilometers, which is pretty good when you think about the size of this car, right? And you consider the fact that it's probably going to come in at around 7,000 US dollars. The other one comes with a 30 kilowatt LFP battery pack from Goshon High Tech and it makes 41 horsepower. It has a bit less power, seven less horsepower. But that one has a range that's a bit shorter, 150 kilometers. Now, both variants have a top speed of 101 kilometers an hour, meaning you could literally drive them on a the highway if you wanted to. Well, in this cool little video from Chang'an, you can see this Lumen Corn. And let's be honest, it's definitely the best looking mini car on the face of the earth. I mean, it's funky, looks cool on the inside as well. If you can see from these spy shots, the interior looks quite nice. Honestly, for a budget car, you get a lot these days. Think about it, right? This is how much I paid for my electric mountain bike. Literally, I mean, I paid what eight thousand Australian dollars, so around about six thousand US dollars, and you get so much here for the price. I don't know how they can do it. It's incredible. But if you consider the fact that CATL are essentially making this car with Huawei and Chang'an, this I believe will be a very, very popular car, and they'll be able to sell and build a lot of them. So how big is it? Well, it's actually quite a bit bigger than the Wuling Hongwan Mini EV and its similar K car competitors. They're called K cars, this size of vehicle. They're normally around 2,950 millimeters long in the K car segment. The Lumen Corn, though, is actually 353 millimeters bigger in terms of its overall length. It's 207 millimeters wider and it's 76 millimeters lower. So the overall dimensions of the Lumen Corn are 3,270 millimeters long, 1,700 millimeters wide, and 1,545 millimeters high. And it has a wheelbase of 1,980 millimeters. Now, for comparison's sake, it is a fair bit smaller than, a, say, a Toyota Yaris, 
The Yaris is 3,990 millimeters long, 1,805 millimeters wide, and 1,455 millimeters high. But because it's an electric car, that means the packaging will be far superior to the Yaris, and you probably find the interior space won't be all that far off. Because when you compare the actual wheelbase, which often is a determinant of the interior size, the wheelbase of this car is two meters and the Yaris's wheelbase is only 2.5. So then you can see that they're actually closer in size that they may originally appear. Obviously this car is about half the price of a Toyota Yaris, plus it's electric, plus it looks way better. To me, it's a no brainer. I mean, anyway, let me know in the comment section below what you think, which car would you get, Toyota Yaris or the Lumen Corn? Personally, for me, definitely the Lumen Corn. What else do we know about it? Well, the base model with the smaller battery is 945 kilo and the top spec model with a 210 kilometer range is 1050 kilos now apparently you can actually spec this to make it cheaper you can remove things such as daytime running lights which to be honest you don't need you can remove the rear view camera you can remove things like even the wheel caps in order to reduce the price which i think is pretty cool i mean I don't know of any other company in the world giving you that option to say, no, nah, remove that feature, remove that feature, remove that so I can get it for a cheaper price. I really like that idea. Now, apparently it comes in some interesting colors, including fog white, light blue, magpie gray, and wheat yellow. Now, there are a few spy shots of the Lumen's interior. It doesn't really give us a good idea of what the interior looks like. But from what I can see from the spy shots, it actually comes with a pretty funky looking steering wheel, which has a flat bottom on it. And it comes with two digital screens, a digital screen in front of the driver and a digital screen in the middle of the vehicle, which looks like it's probably around about 10 inches in size. You can see here on the screen, right, that it's saying it has a 93% charge left in the battery. And at that point, the battery, the vehicle still has a range of 186 kilometers. So that's a pretty good range with 93% battery left. Indicates it probably does have a real world range of close to 200 kilometers. So let me know in the comment section below, would you consider buying a car like this? Maybe as a second car. I don't know, maybe if you're living in a city, something like that, if it costs say 8,000 US dollars. Personally, I think these will sell really, really well, not only in China, also in other Asian markets and also in Europe where they love small cars in cities. I don't know if you've seen that episode of Top Gear where they try and drive through streets in some Italian cities and the streets are so narrow, you just can't get a normal car down them. You have to have a small car. It would be perfect for that scenario. Also, it would be perfect for a lot of places where there's really, really tight parking spots. You could probably fit two of these in one spot. Anyway, hope you had an awesome day. Hope you had a fun time watching this video. Personally, I think these cars are going to take a lot of the global market over the next few years as more and more people who previously couldn't afford a car or buy their first car, which is likely to be something like this. Have a great day. Bye-bye.